Not only should he be a lock to make his first NBA All-Defensive team this year, but New Orleans Pelicans forward Herbert Jones deserves serious consideration for the Defensive Player of the Year award. This season, he's been arguably the best isolation defender in the league, although OG Ananobi, Jaden McDaniels, and Lou Dort are up there with him in that conversation. There have been 63 instances so far this year where Jones has defended an opponent in isolation, according to Second Spectrum. 27 times the opponent he was guarding took a shot, 25 times that player passed it, 7 times they turned it over, and the other scenarios there was a stoppage of play. Of those 27 shots, only 9 of them were made field goals, which comes out to 33.3%. He just has the whole package to make things difficult on opponents. Length, lateral quickness, anticipation, and technique. Not one player, and he's guarded many of the game's best offensive talents, has had their way with him. Just some examples. Shea Gilgis Alexander, who generally has his way with everyone, went 0 of 3 from the field in isolation with Jones guarding when New Orleans visited OKC earlier this year. Normally, SGA finds ways to elude defenders, but that wasn't the case here. Here you see him stifle Paul George. And here Kawhi Leonard. On a more general level, opponents are shooting just 42.5% when Jones contests. That's a top 20 mark right now. Paul George ranks number one in that category. In a recent game between New Orleans and Minnesota, Anthony Edwards went two for eight with Jones as the nearest defender. Meanwhile, this season in three games, De'Aaron Fox shot just nine of 22 from the field with Jones contesting. Here you see Steph Curry miss three shots with Jones either swarming him or simply making great contests on his perimeter shots. The Pelicans forward is also one of few players averaging at least one steal and one block while committing fewer than three fouls per contest. He's among the leaders in deflections and charges drawn, and then he's fourth in contesting three-point shots. It's going to be interesting to see which 10 players make the two all-defensive teams. I feel like there are 15 to 20 players who all deserve a spot. Jones should be a lock, as I mentioned at the top. Rudy Gobert is obviously a lock. I think Chet Holmgren, Anthony Davis, Bam Adebayo, and Shea Gildas-Alexander are probably locks as well. Either Drew Holiday or Derek White, if not both, will certainly make it. You have a bunch of others in the mix like OG Ananobi, Jaden McDaniels, Lou Dort, Jalen Suggs, Alex Caruso, and Victor Wembanyama. And then if he plays enough games, Joel Embiid has a good chance to make it. New Orleans currently ranks sixth in defense and opponents are shooting the third worst three point percentage against them at 33.7%. So that'll wrap up this video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe.